Okay, so right now I am unsubscribed from World of Warcraft. I've been unsubscribed since shortly after 9.2 came out. And I thought I'd make one of these videos about my wish list for 9.2. Or, not 9 .2, Dragonflight. The new expansion that was just announced yesterday. The trailer is out, I'm sure everyone's seen it, you know. The Evoker class, the new zone, the dragon riding. Here is what I want. Um, this is what I want, and I think a lot of people want it. It's gonna keep people playing the game more. If they implement these changes, there's a high likelihood that I will play the game a lot more. Um, uh, and the one thing, I think the biggest thing for me is shared loot and systems. Not Maybe not loot, shared progress through systems on alts, you know? I don't want to start from fucking scratch again when I've already done it. The reputation, the systems, the rapport, the renown, rapport, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. I don't want to do that multiple times. I've never, ever had a serious alt. My last, you know, I've played WoW since Wrath, right? I've never had an alt in World of Warcraft because it's just too much work. Always just way too much work. I've always just played Hunter, <laughs> pretty much. I've had like alts, like level, like... A few max level alts, maybe one or two in expansion, and I do like a few dungeons on them, and then I'm just like stop playing because I just it's just like I don't need tour gas, all that shit. You know what I mean? It's too much. Next thing I would like to see, they're having the the factions being able to play with each other, which is going to be good, right? That's that's a huge change. That's that's good because lets everyone play together with their friends. Uh, cross realm mythic raiding. This is something that has always been annoying for me. Because I've always, you know, I've joined, I've been in a lot of raiding guilds, probably like five or six throughout the past, you know, 12 years or whatever I've been playing this game for. And having to pay to transfer to their server just so I can raid with them on Mythic is kind of silly. And it, it, it's, maybe that's why they don't do it, so they can make a lot of money. But I think, and you can't even do like Crossroad Mythic and Dungeon Finder if you wanted to. You can't even form your own groups with Mythic. It'd be really hard to. You have to do like an area chat. An area chat is just bot spam, right? So, having a cross room mythic rating is going to be really nice. Um, I hope they do that. Next thing um, class updates slash changes. Uh, it depends on the spec, right? I, I personally would like to see hunter changes because I'm a hunter main. I'm sure everyone wants to see their class get updated or changed a little bit, unless they really love their spec. But right now, I personally, I don't know, don't like survival. I don't really play the, myth the survival. I want old survival, you know, I want BM is boring as, you know, BM is boring as hell. So I don't want to play BM. So uh, that's why I'm looking at. I might play main evoker in this new, this new expansion. I would like to get beta access blizzard if I can, so I can try it out and shit. But let's see what else. Uh Oh. R rare mounts that are tied to achievements. It's more of them, right? Because you have accomplishments. You already have like the mythic mount, the CE mount that drops. Uh, but other than, I mean, I guess you have the PvP mount. But other than that, there's like two, I guess Dungeon Finder mount too. So there's already a few actually. You know, they have the, um, you do all the 15 keys, you get your mount, you do the raid, you get the mount, PvP. So I guess they already have a few, but it'd be cool if they had like, I don't know, do every quest in this zone, you get like a mount, you know, just more of that. I feel like they used to have more of that in the game. They don't really have that much anymore. This is personal, this is gonna be controversial. No RNG loot. I am so, so annoyed with this. I don't like RNG loot in an MMO. It belongs in action RPGs like Diablo 3 or Path of Exile. Like when you, but when you have your mythic vault or your weekly vault, whatever it is, and someone else in your guild gets best in slot weapon, <laughs> and they just go way ahead of you just because they got lucky. It's happened to me before, and then it happened against me later on at the start of 9.2. You know, it just doesn't feel good. It does not feel good at all to have RNG tied to loot. That's why in Legion, I kind of dislike the legendary system because I got the fucking necklace and the ring as a hunter. It's like, what is that? Meanwhile, another hunter in the guild who I was way ahead on the meters got the bracers and then he's just out DPSing me all of a sudden. 
just because he got lucky. Back when I played in Wrath of Lich King, they did not have RNG tied to loot. I don't like it. I, I don't. I don't want to create like a badge or currency system. Have set loot tables for every boss like they normally do. But do no like weekly vault. I, I prefer the token, the where you can roll for gear. That's RNG too, right? But I don't know. I just have like a, a currency then. Uh, it's just RNG with loot is awful. So I guess it was leaked. I think they're they're gonna have like four dungeons. Uh, uh, bring back old dungeons. I like. I think they're doing that. I think they're doing that. I think it was leaked. I think they're gonna be bringing back old dungeons for Mythic Plus. I think that's cool. But I, 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 the leak said there's only gonna be four dungeons at the expansion. That's too. That's too little. I think that's way too little. I think there should be at least six dungeons for the start of an expansion. Four dungeons plus four other ones they've already done before. Like that's not gonna be super engaging after like a month, right? If they have like six new dungeons and then add like four on top of the mythic plus table, it gives you ten dungeons to do. And if they stick with the weekly ball, that means you could do one dungeon every week if you wanted to for the uh, the weekly plus bonus, you know, for the the max re rewards. Having like d ten dungeons, I think, would be good. Um, better armor models. <laughs> that's I mean that's art stuff as a male hunter um you know I don't look cool at all it never male in this game it looks awful but whatever uh tier sets I haven't played 9.2 I did not get to experience tier sets but I always enjoy tier sets uh you know I always enjoy tier sets legendaries I want legendaries up mm, I want them to be changed I don't like the I don't like them at the current state they're, they're, it's awful. I've had to recraft legendaries like three times, and I stopped playing the game. It, it does not feel good, the current system. Uh, Torghast, whatever, the currency, you have to recraft legendaries, it's gold sink, it's a terrible system. So change... or remove legendaries. Uh, I'm trying to think of how they could do it. Maybe if you... They should be like rewarding. They should be kind of hard to get, I think, because otherwise they're not rewarding to get. So they should be difficult to get, but they should also be really obtainable by the majority of the player base, right? So I don't know. Kill all the dungeons, Mythic Plus dungeons on like plus five at the start or, or plus ten, you know, something like that. There's obviously tons of different ways. That's just an example, but you can do something that makes them better. I don't like them in their current state or just remove them. Like back in Burning Crusade, like remember the old legendaries, Shadowmorn, the bow. Um, they took a long time to get, and there was only one of them. What if you did throughout the expansion a weapon or an item for each role? So the first raid has a legendary for melee DPS. Second raid has a legendary for tanks. Third raid has a legendary for healers slash casters. Actually, yeah, and then you, well, the melee DPS one you can do for ranged and melee DPS. That could be a physical DPS, spell damage, and then tank healer. So you can really split it up. But you'd only need three. Three tiers, right? So that would be cool, I think. That would give each player, each role, a chance to get legendary throughout the expansion. Um, they'd have to be unique, they'd have to be powerful, they'd have to be hard to get. Maybe a quest line, you know, like in Molten Core or whatever, and um, and, and ICC, you had to get the Shadowmourne through all a ton of quests quest chains and stuff i think that would be fair to the whole player base and it might be good but you know i just i just don't like the current state they have to change it oops i think they should change weak ores they need to like change weak ores or slash raid they're too involved i came back to raiding at the start of this expansion shadowlands right and like when we started doing mythic before this i haven't raided since star legion right and there were weak ores back then, but they were not nearly as prevalent as they are now. Weak ores are, I think they're awesome for rotation stuff and for like your rotation and stuff and everything like that. It shows you your spells and stuff, but every single boss pretty much for Mythic has its own set of weak ores that just like, you know, they don't make it, they make you like the boss trivial and the mechanics trivial. Obviously, the bosses are still really challenging, even with weak orders, but like on, uh, what's that boss? 
Guardian Destroyer or whatever, like third, fourth boss in um, Calcinathrio. All right, here's your markers, your four markers. Stand here, you know, stack. <laughs> it makes that boss so easy. So I think weak orders should be changed a little bit. Back when I raided in Cataclysm, ICC, Panda Land, you know, they didn't really have weak auras, but then I came to the Shadowlands and they're like every single boss has one, I feel like, which isn't that engaging for the player base. I think the more external software or add-ons or information you need to play the game, the worse it is, you know? That's why in Path of Exile, you know, it's kind of frustrating. You need Path of Building, you need your auction house. You need all your other stuff. Your, your leveling guide. You need s like so much stuff open to play the game. I feel like, and you have like six, seven tabs open, two different softwares running. I'm like, Wait, what am I playing right now? It's crazy. All right. Um, the UI changes look good. I think that'll be good for. But I still think most players are just gonna use like their own UI. Leveling is whatever in MMOs. It's not that engaging. Oh, story. I don't care for story. I don't care for lore make story simple but back when i was playing wrath fighting the lich king was fucking epic okay and i didn't know anything about the story but if you have a story where there's one big bad ass bad guy and you're the good guy and that's it there's no like freaking 200 iq loops with like dragons and like just have it simple. Have it, make it like a soap opera. This person had sex with this dragon, and now, you know, you need to kill that person because he cheated on the Anduin's wife. Some, I, I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I just said, but... <laughs> something like that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Make it easy. Make it dumb down. Uh, the Jailer and all these, like, he was a robot, and who knows who he is. It's not satisfying. It's like, you don't... It's the last boss of the expansion. It should feel rewarding to finally have some closure and kill the bad guy. But and now it's just like this, all these mind games. It's kind of stupid. I'm trying to think what else now. Um, oh, Torgat. Well, oh, end game systems. Why did I not think of this yet? End game systems. Uh, they should be cross altered, but they should be they should be good. They already have skill trees, which is good. End game systems should not be oh like we're like uh renown end game system should not be annoying if you want to change renown at the start of 9.2 you know how many times i did do plague fall to switch my renown to level up another renown which is stupid i did do plague fall for like like 10 hours i that's what, one of the reasons why i quit the game i was like why am i doing like normal plague fall to level up renown so i could play potentially this spec because i don't know what's good right now it's really stupid. Switching renowns should not be a pain in the butt. You know, everyone knows me. I did all the zones. They should all know who I is, you know? Do not make do that. And also, let me switch my fucking system specs while I'm in raid. If I wanted to do a fight in MM and then switch to BM in this fight, I have to hearth to my, my home base, switch a bunch of talents, and then get summoned back. So I would just always play MM because I'm not going to do that, right? Unless well, it's like for progression or something, but make it easy. Why are you like handicapping all these systems and all these players from just playing the game? This is stupid. So make make endgame systems simple. If you're gonna have, if they're doing like the dragon flight thing with you can pick your dragon flight. Cool. Make sure you can switch it for like anytime you want. You can switch that. You can play green one day. I can play black next day, and I can switch all the specs and talent points wherever I am. Don't make it uh, like hard. I'm trying to think what else I don't like about the current state of Shadowlands. Oh, uh, this is going to be obvious. This is going to be, I mean, this is whatever. Regular updates. Shadowlands, and I don't think this has been stated by other people, but Shadowlands, right, was one of the downfalls is the lack of content. That's that simple. Like 9.2 just took way too long. And then there's no 9.3. Like, it's... So they need to come out with regular updates. They need to... Maybe, I don't know. So I hope they delay this expansion far into the future until they have, like, plans set up. Like a roadmap. Give us a roadmap before the expansion comes out. Give us, like, some... At least, like, a hint, you know? 
Like, oh yeah, six months later, 9.2 or 10.1 or 10.2 is going to come out, right? That's important because I think it's going to be a gamble otherwise. Like, yeah, this game's going to be fun for like a month or two, and then it's going to be a dry spell for like eight months. So that's not fun. That's what the game has been lacking, I think. It's just content, really. Uh, oh, end game zones slash solo content decent. This is going to be a dream. Make towards our grinds more enjoyable. Okay. Make solo endgame content fun. Torghast sucked. I never liked doing Torghast. I did not like doing the Maw. As a Mythic Raider, guess what I had to do? Every day, every week. I had to do both of those. I did not enjoy any of it. The Maw, you can't mount in it. It's just a time sink. Th 30 minutes to do the Maw. Every day. Not fun. Make the solo content. I don't know how you would do it, but just make it fun. Make it simple. Make it take like a half hour. Oh, also. Uh, rest bonus for daily content. Like Lost Arcas. If you don't do a, a Guardian Raid or your dailies or a Chaos Dungeon, you get a rest bonus. So even after you skip up to five days, you still get a little bit of bonus so you don't miss out as much. You know, they need to have it in this game. Some people just have jobs. They don't want to play you out every single day. In the Maw though, I did it every day and I was one of the first people in my guild to get the uh, the socket. And it's like, as a Mythic Raider, you kind of have to do these things. They're kind of required. Each, you know, each DPS incentive and, you know, I'm a competitive, so each DPS incentive, I'm going to do it. No matter what it is, but I'm going to have more fun with it if it's engaging. Don't have the maw. Create a zone, these endgame zones that you have that are fun, the content, simple, not as grindy, don't make sure you can mount in it, make sure it doesn't take too long, and I would be playing this game non-stop, dude. I would never stop playing it, wow. But I got burnt out. You have to do Maw. Uh, then you gotta do that, that Maw like evolved in 9.2, you gotta do those like three dailies per week or whatever, and those missions, not fun at all. Kind of fucking annoying quests. And then you have to do your 10 mythic plus dungeons at the start. It's important you do that too, because you can get better rewards. Uh, I did not want to do 10 mythic plus. I don't really like mythic plus. Uh, make, you know, what else did you have to do? Torghast, Torghast sucked. I hated Torghast. My, I played all that shit at the start, and then by the end of Castle Nathria, I was like raid logging because I didn't need any, any gear, right? I was just best in slot pretty much. And then 9.2 came out. Guess what I had to do all over again, all that stuff, all that stuff. And I just got burnt out and stopped playing the game. Like, I this is very specific uh, wish list. This is my wish list because I'm a mythic creator, right? This is what I want. I know it's not maybe common for everyone, but for me, solo content, that all that grindy stuff, it just becomes chores and it's not fun. And I feel like I have to spend 20, not 20 hours, but like 15 hours a week to do all that shit on top of raiding when I raid like, I don't know, six hours, eight hours a week, depending on what, what I'm feeling, what guild I'm in. Can't have that, can't have that. Uh, for me, that's why I, I am quitting. One thing I like to see is updated char uh, character creation stuff. You know, barbershop stuff, character creation, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cause that's dragons. When someone on Reddit did an edit of a dragon and it looks way better than what Blizzard came up with. So make the dragons a little, change the dragons, just change them. Make them, you can be anorexic if you want, or you could be buff dragon. Cause right now, anorexic dragon don't look too appealing to play. I think that's everything. I think that's everything for now. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see from Dragonflight. I think uh, I'm excited. I'm going to play it regardless, but right now I'm kind of on the fence. The, the content looks cool. The story is whatever. The dragon riding looks cool, but it's rather than, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of get boring after a while. I mean, it'd be cool the first few times, but after that, I don't know how engaging it will be, but I'm interested to see what they do with uh, some systems. That's really what I'm focused on. If I'm going to play the game for a, a long time, that's what I'm be, uh, paying attention to. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please subscribe, please thumbs up, please like. That really helps me out a lot. I really want to be uh, pushing out more content with World of Warcraft and um, other games as well. So all the support is greatly, greatly appreciated.
And uh, I might be playing Classic WoW soon, so tune into my Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Nitro. I've been interested to play an MMO, maybe Final Fantasy, maybe Classic WoW, we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.